All right, this is Michelle. She's going to share her story about working with our clinic a little bit. Um, so, Michelle, how did you hear about us working with? So with technology, um, you know, I think I started following a few different uh, practitioners online and they led me to Dr. Moore. And then it's like, I felt like everything that I was, I was hearing online from him, from his video post, um, you got a sense of his personality and also just hearing the things that he could help with was the reason what, what drew me to even start checking out your facility and to see if he could actually, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to start back with this because I think many people find themselves in the same boat as me. You just, you go through practitioners left and right. Um, you are looking for somebody that's going to have the key to unlock um, your healing. And um, I'm not going to lie. That's where I was. I spent three years, um, going through multiple practitioners and every single one of them, I felt like, okay, this is going to be the one that's going to help me. And, um, I want to say bless their hearts. It's a Southern thing that we say, bless their hearts. Um, they were wonderful practitioners, but could only take me so far. And, um, it wasn't till I just really felt like when I was researching and found Dr. Moore, that he would not necessarily, because I want to preface that, like, I want to save this, I think, for later to say, so let me come back to it. But um, I felt like just his personality, his demeanor, he would be the one that even if he couldn't help me, um, he would help me find, I don't know, like strengthen myself. Uh, and in the process, I have found both. I have found a great practitioner, and I have found strength in myself as well. Amazing! It's always awesome to hear. I know it's always hard to find the the person that will be a right fit for you. So yes, That's awesome. And when was it that you started working with Dr. Jabin? So I started working with Dr. Jabin Moore um, in October. Um, I did the first consultation, the phone call, and then decided to do the labs and then waited for those results to come back and then had my consultation with him and decided to move forward with the program. Okay, awesome. And um, that was like seven months ago then? Yeah, point. roughly six months because by mm -hmm. the time I did the testing and then had my consultation with him and actually kind of starting the steps um, was six months. Okay. Awesome. So what were some of the things you were experiencing that might be on your top list originally? Well, I knew coming into it that I had high levels of candida. I knew I had mold toxicity, um, but my body had no way of getting it out of my system. It seemed like every protocol I would try, all the supplements I would try um, actually caused Herx reactions versus any kind of... Uh, resolution or any peace or calm to my body. So when I met with Dr. Moore, he explained to me that the, that reason was because I actually had MAX, which is that mast cell activation syndrome. So my body was in fight or flight at all times. Um, and that was new information to me. I was diagnosed with root causes, like the, like the mold toxicity, but it, I couldn't just do like a parasite cleanse or a protocol for mold because of this new addition of the max diagnosis. Um, and he was really good at explaining that to me. And then actually even going beyond um, his own protocols and offering me more information to research, which I found was beautiful because I feel like most practitioners kind of like want to keep you in a box and focused on only what they have to offer. But I think that's one other thing that I loved about him is that he's willing to direct you beyond uh, even his scope of practice, which is huge. Um, you don't find that. And so that to me gave me even more confidence in being able to work with him and knowing that he's going to find the best solution for me and not necessarily just for his practice. Yeah, awesome. Well, once you started working with him and going through all that information and his protocols, how did your body handle that? Okay, well, um, I want to say this because I feel like a lot of people are going to be right there with me too. 
you you for some reason you put all your hope and like belief that you're going to be healed into the practitioner's hands and so when he gives you the protocol or the supplements like i'm on, i'm like give me my supplement protocol i'm ready to get on board and within like two days i was herxine so bad i had awful reactions and i'm thinking oh no what do i do now the protocol's not working um and that's what he kind of had to explain to me um, it wasn't necessarily the protocol or the supplements. Um, another whole, like something I'd never been explained about was the nervous system and the limbic system and how that correlates. And when Dr. Moore first started describing that to me, I was like, no, 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 I don't want to work on my mind. You know, I, I want to work on my healing. I want to work on like being able to move and not have achy muscles, uh, not having the burning sensations. So, you know, Dr. Moore, you stay in your lane. You, and um, so, but that's I, actually the first time I actually got to meet with him, he told me, because I'm like, I just want to get over this obstacle. And um, he's very black and white, which I appreciated because I was first like, no, aren't you going to comfort me? Aren't you going to console me? And um, he made the statement that you will always have obstacles. And that was even new, even with my faith, you know, I've always thought, oh, you get over your obstacles so you can, you know, move on and keep progressing. But what he explained to me was that you can't you can't go through life just waiting to go through an obstacle and then move and then life start back up. Life is happening at all times. Um, so that was a huge, like, it helped me step back for a minute and kind of go, I didn't even realize at the time, because I think when you're diagnosed with something or you have symptoms or you're just hurting, you just want to feel better. And you have no idea that this may be a long process. So it's not that I intentionally was just ready to halt or jump over an obstacle to get to my healing. It just happened to end up being that way. Um, Cause I just thought once I'm healthy, like a normal sickness, when you have the flu or something, you're going to get over it. You know that. So I just thought when I started developing these weird sensations or having problems, I just need to get over the obstacle so I can move on with life. And that was the first tool that he gave me was that it's not about moving over the obstacle. It's about learning how to live and go through life with the obstacles in your life. Cause like you will always have one. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. I know that's a missing piece that a lot of people out there don't have realizing the, the mind. Yeah. That's a huge piece of thing. yeah. For, I mean, for, you know, cause I've actually been going through this since 2020. So for about three years now, and, um, it's all new to me. Like I, I grew up in Western medicine. Like if I got sick, I'd immediately go to, uh, you know, the little urgent clinic, urgent care and get a Z pack, get a steroid shot and I get healthy. Um, but I had no idea that I was damaging my body in the process all those years. I'm a vocalist um, and a singer. So anytime I'd be in recording studio, I would just go get the steroid shot so I could do my job. Mm -hmm. And um, so again, I had no idea that I was just building up toxicity in my body. And then um, I happened to live in a home that I didn't know that had mold in it. Um, and that's a whole nother ball game because there's so much on social media um, that if you go down that, that rabbit hole, you can actually end up scaring yourself uh, in the process. So I think he helped me with that too, that, you know, don't chase what you're afraid of, chase what you're excited for or chase um focusing on what's what the good things are um so and I, I think that's I'm gonna kind of hop into um actually back when he started talking about the nervous system and the limbic system um that was new information to me because uh, again being faith-filled faith-based in my life I'm like no 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 my my spirituality my mental my emotional I thought everything was good there. This is just, I need you to work on the physical. Um, but I had no idea how much what was happening in my body was impacting or affecting my spiritual, my emotional and, and my mental levels as well.
So um, when he, he had recommended actually another program for me to look into. And um, I started working through that uh, reluctantly at first, because again, I kept saying, I just need a different supplement. And he kept telling me, stop focusing on the supplements and, or um, the modalities like sauna, cold plunging, you know, I was, I'd come at it with everything. How about hyperbaric chamber, you know, and, and he'd like, really, you need to work on the nervous system. And um, it's interesting. I started walking through that process. And in the beginning, I just, again, I was wanting just, okay, give me the tools to work on my nervous system. Instead of just being present, uh, just calming my system down and learning how to just be okay, no matter if my circumstances are not okay. Yeah. Awesome. Well, after you went through all of that, those changes <laughs> and yes. all those recommendations and everything, I know it's been like six months since you started and it's always a journey, you know, mm -hmm. we're never fully done, but hopefully making lots of progress along the way. But how are you feeling now since you've gone through all that? So, um, I feel really good. And even though I am still physically, um, I have symptoms, um, that mindset of where I'm going to put my focus. Um, I used to be so afraid of the triggers, what was going to cause me to feel bad in a day versus focusing on what do I want to do today? How do I want to approach today? Um, and something huge that I did, I wasn't feeling the best in my body, but I had the opportunity to actually travel internationally and I was fearful of going, but with this new mindset, it was okay. I really want to go. So if I choose that, if I choose, like, I want to go more than I'm afraid of what might happen if I do go. And that was like what unlocked the door, like uh, was the key that made me realize, cause I get, I, we ended up going to Ireland and I wanted, I'd been there 10 years prior and I was in the best shape of my life and we did all the hiking, all the biking. So I was fearful of going back 10 years later and not getting to do any of it. But I thought, but what if I, if I try and my desire to try it was greater than my fear of what would happen. And that is totally a mind change game. And it, and actually I went to Ireland. I did every hike and every biking path route that I did 10 years ago and did amazing. And I really believe it, it unlocks something in me. And so I decided, cause I started to panic when it was time to come back home because home meant the, I'm back in my box. I'm fearful, all of those things. But I, I was like, what if I come back with the mindset of I'm choosing to be in my house? I'm choosing to not be afraid. Um, what if I choose, like, I want to live here. I want to be present in my home versus what is my home going to do to me? And it's impacted me in such a great way. So not every day is perfect, but in a way it is because I have learned that I actually do have the power to make the decision and the choice of is today going to be a good day or a bad day based on my mental state towards it. So it's, it's been it, but I would have never found that tool if it weren't for Dr. Moore. And so now the supplements and the protocols that I wasn't able to do when we started back in, um, actually I started on the supplements like in November, uh, early December and those same things I herx to, I have now started back on and I'm able to take them. So it's like my body, I gave my body permission to feel calm, to feel safe, even though there's still obstacles mm -hmm. in my, you know, we're like you said earlier, we're always going to be in process and we're always going to have obstacles. So it's just how I want to approach them, that they're not going to harm me, that I'm actually going to get over them. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. And I know that's something a lot of our clients could definitely relate to because we work with so many people who are so sensitive to supplements mm -hmm. and they're wondering, is this ever going to work for me? How am I going to get past this? And I think that's a really amazing tool. So 
And I know you've shared a lot of things already that I know will be helpful for people, but what's one thing that if you could tell anybody who's starting their healing journey, what would you tell them? I would tell them that you're actually doing well and you're on the right track. You're on the right path. You're exactly where you're supposed to be and that your body is actually working for you, that it's not failing you. Because I think a lot of times I would be like, if I could just have a healthy body, but my body's doing exactly what it needs to do. It is fighting for me. And so if I give my body and my mind a safe place and a safe space, and I'm not talking about even just physically. So, because a lot of people want to run away from their homes once they hear they have mold in their home, something like that, but you can still be there and be present with the mindset that you're safe. And if you can, it's not about chanting to yourself, I'm safe, I'm safe, I'm safe until you believe it. But it's more of a matter of like giving yourself permission to be present right now and to love your body and where you are in this process, because I fully believe that this season carries value too. Um, if anything, like not only for your own, um, knowledge, it, it helps you grow as a person. Um, but I think it also is going to going to be able to help us help others in the future too, when they are going to be walking through their toxicities, uh, we can be there to help them and cheer them on too. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story. I know you'll inspire so many people on their journeys. So I appreciate you taking the time to share. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Heather. I appreciate it. Well,